Um, I was wanted to ask the question of what is mucoid plaque and have any of your fasters expelled it at the retreat? Yeah, um, mucoid plaque is, uh, you know, I'll, I'll say it's this theoretical thing because medicine says it doesn't exist, right? Medicine says, no, there's no such thing. You know, the, the people who do colonoscopies, et cetera, they go in there and they say there's nothing in there. Um, but theoretically, we wind up with this hard coating uh, inside the intestines. And it would, if it, if it existed, it would dramatically uh, negatively impact the body's ability to assimilate nutrients, at least through that section of the intestine. And we've got lots of intestines. I mean, we're 32 feet from mouth to anus, you know, roughly 10 meters. There's a lot of small intestine there. Mostly the large intestine is something under 2 meters, 5 to 6 feet roughly. Um, you know, other, once we get the esophagus, stomach, and then we start the small intestine. So there's a lot of tube there. And um, even if the whole, not the whole thing is coated, it's going to be a problem. But, you know, much of what, what the research looks at is the colon, the large intestine. That's what a colonoscopy is looking at. It occurs to me that this stuff is much more likely to wind up in the small intestine than the large intestine. Because the small intestine is much longer, it's narrower, and it's saculated like a vacuum cleaner hose. Right. And so it would be much more likely for stuff to get stuck there. Mm -hmm. Do we see this happening most of the time, there's a lot of evidence that people are breaking down stuff in their, their colon. And, and the greatest evidence is that, um, as I'm sure you know as a fruitarian, when you eat, let's say, just papaya, you know, you, let's say you'd only papaya today, your, bowel, your next bowel movement is going to be soft and it's not going to smell bad. And it might be orange if you've already taken in all the carotenes you need. They'll pass through into your stool. And, you know, it'll be easy to pass and quick, etc. Virtually every single person I've ever fasted, and again, roughly 3,000 of them, winds up passing old, hard, dried, usually stinky, often very dark material. This is really, really common. And there are people here now who are thinking, you know, just a month ago, well, I might, might have some of that stuff. Now, I had a guy yesterday who had five large, hard bowel movements dry stuff. And he's living on fruit for the last week after his fast. It's not the fruit he's eliminating. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's the old stuff or a combination of old and new. And it's obvious. It's obvious when all the old stuff finishes and all of a sudden bowel movements become quick and soft and easy and wet and don't smell bad, etc. Mm -hmm. um, that's what's going to happen. So there's no question there is stuff in there. Every once in a while, we'll see something that happened, and I can't say I saw this stuff. I mean, in fact, very few people ever say, hey, come, Lauren, come into my bathroom. Let me show you what I did. Now, that doesn't happen very often. But I had a young man that I fasted via Skype. In fact, we're going to be fasting him again shortly for just a brief period. But I fasted him, I forget, uh, six months or, or more ago. He had been pretty sick for a long time from the UK. And on one of our daily coaching calls, he said, Lauren, he said, this morning, I passed a foot-long piece of what looked like hard black rubber. It was a tube. Yeah. It was shaped, you know, I mean, it had a hole in it. It looked just like a, a rubber hose, essentially. Black and hard and incredibly painful to pass. And um, he said, that came out of my body today. Now, that doesn't happen very often because most of the time, the body breaks this stuff down rather than passing it whole. So a lot of people are passing this stuff. It's not usually passed whole this way. Yeah, that's when you see pictures online of mucoid plaque, that's what you see. It's like saculated or sort of rippled exactly. long tubes of rubber stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yes, I mean it does happen sometimes. That was the most recent example I've I've seen of it. Interesting.